So guys welcome back to piping engineer in today's video guys we will learn about the miter elbow calculations so this video will be very helpful for the people who are fitter who who do this piping erection job or piping fabrication job so guys for more videos and updates please like follow and subscribe to our channel so let's begin our today's video and learn how do we fabricate a miter elbow so guys in first slide uh, before moving ahead uh, we just wanted to have a basic definition of a miter band so what is a miter band so miter band you know it is it is not a standard band it is not a standard fittings they are fabricated fittings based on the requirement we fabricate it and they are just purely pipe uh, fabrication things that are welded uh, with a mathematical calculation and formed uh, and they are joined they are used to join two pipes a miter band uh, is uh, prepared by mitering that is angle cutting mitering means angle cutting if you see these pipes joints they all have been cut at some angle and then joined together to form a 45 degree or a 90 degree corner so uh, so whenever a large size pipe is required to be fabricated and we don't have uh, the uh, assembly or assembled or um, or machined or you may say manufactured fitting we fabricate that fitting at our erection site itself and those fittings are known as miter band so miter band pieces are called gores so this may be a very important interview questions so the pieces that are cut uh, and uh, these cut pieces they are known as gores so here you can see it is a four piece miter band and this middle pieces are called middle gores and the end pieces are known as end gores so um, these end gores and middle gores when joined at a systematic joined in a systematic way and cut in some angular position they form a miter band so miter band they are generally used over 12 inches of pipe sizes because for smaller pipes in sizes we get we easily get factory made fittings and they are not required to be fabricated at site but for large pipes uh, factory made fittings are not available hence we fabricate this miter bands at site to join our pipes and to make the meaningful elbows moving on to the next slide guys uh, in this slide guys we have just tried to capture one calculation so that uh, you may use this calculation for when you are when you are uh, doing a miter band calculation at your fabrication site or when you wanted to fabricate a miter band so for speaking we we have taken example of a 14 inch pipe the schedule number of the pipe is considered as 120 the material of pipe is carbon steel the bend angle that we will be calculating in this calculation is 90 degree you can use the same formulas and change the bend angles the number of cuts are for the number of cuts for this are four number of cuts and the radius of bend is 1.5 d so uh, all these things you should be knowing before you start a fabrication of the miter bend you should be knowing what will be the angle for which you are making the bend let's say it's 45 degree or 90 degree how many cut sizes you require to form a bend that is also you should be knowing based on your space uh, and what is the what is the type of the bend whether it is a, a long radius bend or a short radius bend so that you should be knowing so first thing uh, when we do this miter bend calculation we use this angle of cut so angle of cut basically you can see here so there are there are two there are two angles of cuts that is uh, um, a one uh, 90 degree the formula for angle of cut is number of degree turn by two, two into number of weld so number of degree turn as i told you we are calculating for a 90 degree bend so we put the value 90 degree here two into number of weld so for this i have already told you that we will be calculating for a four bend elbow so this you can see one two three uh, four and five pieces and the number of cuts are four so you can see there are four welding lines one two three and four so these four number of welds are there and four number of welds are there to join the five pieces so with the help of this we calculate this theta angle so theta angle uh, this is the basic this is the most important angle because because we will be joining small pieces and with the help of these small pieces the total angle that will be formed will be 90 degree so this theta is uh, you can see 11.25 degree we have calculated here the theta is so and you can see another angle that is alpha, uh, alpha so alpha is twice of theta so you can see this length this length is this length is smaller and this length is double so based on this double length uh, the the bottom portion is having 
half angle and this middle one is twice of the bottom angle so we we kept this alpha is equal to 2 theta so it's just a simple calculation so l2 2 or twice of alpha theta value we get alpha so this is the first thing that is angle of cut we calculate with the help of this formula uh, moving on to next slide guys so and in this slide we calculate one more thing that is your cutback so cutback is uh, one thing that is how much portion that you need to remove because you can see all these pieces they are joined at some angle and there is an angular cutting so so this angular cutting has to be done and and some extra material has to be removed so that extra extra material that needs to be removed is known as cutback so for cutback also we have a direct formula that is od of pipe into tangent of angle of cut by 2 so od of pipe is i told you we are calculating this for 14 inch pipe so it is 355.6 inch into tangent of angle of cut that is theta so tangent by 2 so so tangent and cutback is equal to 35.37 mm because tangent 11.25 is 0.198 so it's just a simple trigonometry that's it nothing uh, rocket science in it so from here we get this cutback angle so you can see uh, everywhere when we will be cutting these pieces to join our miter band this extra material will be removed so after this extra material is removed then only we will get all these pieces at certain angle so this is known as your cutback next is your masterpiece side length so masterpiece side length is how much will be the radius of the elbow so this portion is known as your masterpiece side length that is the total radius of your bend so we as i told you in starting itself we have taken it 1.5d bend so it's 1.5d just simple and we have calculated it in mm so uh, radius of your elbow will be 533.4 so this is your capital r or radius of your elbow that is 533.4 mm next is your tangent theta for this part so tangent theta uh, for, we need to calculate the length so the length this portion we know that how much angle needs to how much portion needs to be extra needs to be removed but we don't know the length of the pieces that will be joined together to form this miter band so it is simple trigonometry so tangent theta is equal to perpendicular over base so you can see this is the this is your theta angle as we calculated in last slide also and this is your perpendicular and this radius is your base so it is simple tangent theta is equal to l2 by run radius that is your total uh, total radius of the elbow so simply we put the formulas set l2 is equal to tangent theta into run that is uh, uh, tangent theta putting the values of tangent theta and radius we get l2 value 106 mm so here you get the L value 106 mm so as i told you previously that this l1 is twice of l2 because all these pieces they are they are uh, they are connected through some angles and this is a symmetrical band so all these values they are twice of l2 so we just simply put this thing l1 is equal to l2 is, l1 is equal to twice of l2 so l1 this value of l1 is twice of l2 that is uh, l2 we get 106 mm and when we multiply this 106 mm into two twice we get 212 mm so this l2 is your 106 mm l1 again 212 mm this will be again 212 mm this will be again 212 mm and this will be again 106 mm so all these pieces you get and cut back you know at which at how much material needs to be removed uh, from their angles so that uh, uh, so that they can they can be formed they can be cut at some tangent and when these pieces they will be joined together at uh, with this tangent theta angle we a miter band will be formed so guys i hope uh, in today's video you would have learned something and you would be able to fabricate your own miter band when required for the fabrication at site so for more videos and updates please like follow and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching the video